Look at me kissing this burger. Juicy, wet, mmm. Uh, sorry, uh, got a little PG-13 there. Right off the bat, too. I'm embarrassed. <laughs> I'm kissing the burger because it's delicious. And it's hardly the only one. New York City has some of the best burgers in the United States and probably in the entire world. My favorite part of New York City's burger scene is that there are incredible burgers for every budget and in every style. I want to share with you the five best burgers in all of New York City. And because I want to make sure everyone is included, it won't just be any five burgers. I'm going to tell you the best burger in town in five different categories. The best budget burger, the best New York diner style burger, the best fire grilled burger, the best high end burger, and the best burger overall. Just call me the Burger King. Burger King. Actually, no, please don't. Best on a budget. Great budget burger joints have a tendency to become national chains real fast. Expect 7th Street Burger to follow that path really soon. They first opened up back in 2021, and at the time of recording, they already have 12 locations between New York and New Jersey. Five years from now, and they will be in every town in America. They keep it as simple as possible. It's smash burger style and comes as a single, a double, or as an impossible burger. You can order it with fries, and they have a couple drink and dessert options, but that's it. No decor, nothing. It's greasy, it's cheap, and it's quick. You can get a single patty cheese burger for less than seven dollars and they're open late which is the exact time that you're gonna want to be eating them smash burgers aren't my personal favorite because usually they end up too crispy and dry but that does not happen here it's actually super juicy and only starts to get a little bit crunchy right around the edges if you're in new york and you're trying to save money this is your new burger spot. he's the Our burger king. king no no stop i'm not the burger king i'm not the burger king. best diner style there are diners and then there are new york diners the upper east side is a neighborhood with a lot of tradition there are restaurants that have been around for a long time run by New Yorkers who do not want to make a lot of changes. JG Mellon has been around since 1972. They only take cash. Their servers are New Yorkers through and through, which is to say they're going to speak the bare minimum and nothing more, and it's crowded constantly. This burger is admittedly a little divisive. Some people love it, calling it the best in town, and others think it's overrated. It's thick, it's juicy, it's cooked to order, and it has a tiny crispy layer on the bottom where it made contact with the flat top. This one isn't my personal favorite on the list, but if you do love a diner cheeseburger, it doesn't get better crafted than this. The burger is $14 and it's a little on the smaller side, so you might want to order a side of waffle fries as well. I also love how much of a genuinely New York experience this is. Nowhere else on this list feels like it represents our city quite as perfectly as JG Mellon. If it's your first time in town, you should visit JG Mellon just to get a taste of an authentic local establishment. Best Fire Grill. Pig Beach Barbecue is out in a store Queens and it's huge. You've got to get out of Manhattan to find a place with as much space as this. It has a whole backyard with a screen. There's tons of seating. There's live music sometimes. There's a bar and there's a line where you go to order your barbecue and your soft drinks. Their burger tastes like if your favorite uncle threw a slab of meat on the grill in the backyard on the 4th of July. If that uncle was Gordon Ramsay or, or the, the burger, burger King. King. No, not the burger. It has such a smoky flavor. It's very much in the style of the American South. It's insanely juicy almost to a fault. The burger bun is really soft and it absorbs all that juice in no time, but I can forgive it because this burger is that good. You can get a single for $9, a double for 14, or a triple for 17. I went with a double, but I think for most people a single would actually be enough. I got some fries, I got some cornbread, I got a fountain drink, which by the way is Fountain Boylan's Beverages. I had never seen that before in my life. I'd only seen bottled Boylan's. Let's just say I had a few refills. <laughs> Best high end. Ironically, right across the street from the budget 7th Street Burger is the, uh much bougier Minetta Tavern. It's a French restaurant, but they have two burgers on their menu. The better and higher end of the two is called the Black Label Burger. It's actually made up of four cuts, short rib, skirt, brisket, and dry aged ribeye. It's $38 before tax and tip. Milk me dry, white. what a rib of oh, God. Now, before you get crazy, this is high quality meat. It's basically like ordering a steak. It tastes really clean and smooth. You can absolutely tell that this is a proper chunk of beef. It also does come with fries, which I did not expect. I think they even make their own mayo. I paired my burger with an Eric Borderlay cider, which has a smoky quality to it. I feel like such an aristocrat saying that out loud. I doubt we'll meet again. Do you promise? The service was on par with the atmosphere as well. I didn't have a reservation, so I sat at the bar to order, and every bartender just catered to my every need with a smile. 
Getting a reservation isn't all that hard, but I do recommend that you make one ahead of time, especially if you're looking for a table. On a Monday night, it was a packed house with wait times at the bar of over an hour. So I can only imagine how crazy it gets on the weekends. Despite the price and quality, it's not the best burger in town. That title belongs to someone else. Best of the best, the actual Burger King of New York City is really not a king at all, no. Her name is Emily, and she is the undisputed burger queen of the Big Apple. That's the restaurant's name. It's just, it's called Emily. It's actually a pizza place, which is wild. The best burger in New York City, and maybe in the entire world, is from a pizzeria called Emily. Just like Minetta, it's over in the West Village, and it's busy. Without a reservation, you will have to wait to get in. Maybe for a while. But trust me, it is worth it. This is the best burger I've ever had. It's called the Double Stack. It's two Pat LaFrida dry aged beef patties, always cooked medium with caramelized onions, American cheese, pickles, and their secret Emmy sauce. It comes on a pretzel bun, which I absolutely love. Their cheese is so beautiful. There isn't much lighting in there, so you can barely see it from this video, but here's a photo I found online, which shows it off a little better. Sexy. I should warn you though, I had a long wait for my food. I easily waited for an hour after ordering before I got my burger. Now I'm not saying that's the norm. The person sitting next to me at the bar ordered the exact thing that I did except 20 minutes later and we both got our food at the same time. So I kind of think that my order might've just slipped through the cracks. It's $26 for the burger along with some waffle fries. So it's another fairly expensive one, but similarly to Minetta Tavern, it just feels clean to eat. I can't really describe it except to say that the meat feels consistent, smooth, even, well seasoned, and super flavorful and juicy. I love making these videos. I really get to try some of the best food in the world. It's a beautiful thing. The truth is, I could never be the Burger King. I'm too soft to lead. My subjects would walk all over me. But you, you are up to the task, Emily. You are our Burger Queen, and we bow to you.